how to set up a free store and actually sell products here into Google Sites. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you what we can do. So Google Sites is an amazing place to build almost any kind of website, help center, projects, events, portfolio, and much more. And we can try to actually start a free website and sell stock products truly for free. So this video, guys, is going to be extremely, extremely, extremely basic and too broad. So first of all, guys, what I want to do is to focus now into my niche. So I'm going to go into site.google.com and here what I want to do is to look out for a template. So if I go and look out for template gallery, we can see that there's a template for work. So a template for your help center. There's a template for project, team, a small business of a dog walker, portfolio, resident, and salon. So what I want to do is to look out for the most accurate template that I can use for my actual product. For example, it's type for salon. So as you can see, this is how it's going to be looking my actual template and we don't have to do absolutely anything. So since we already have this, I want to focus now into pages. Now here into pages, as you can see, we do have one, two, three, four, five different sections where we can start to actually work. So for example, here's the home section. If I look out for services, for example, uh, they do have the list of services. This is service number one, hair styling. I'm gonna type here, what is the actual pricing, the nail treatment. Uh, makeup services. I think this is like not um, too interesting for me, but then we can change that later. We have the about section, we have the testimonials, and lastly we have the contact. So since we are having, uh, we want to sell products, I think this uh, is not that worthy to have the contact page. So I want to click here and look out for the lead and as well as the testimonials. So I'm going to just focus with the very first third of them. And here into services, I want to go into the three dots and change this for a new name. So I'm going to double click here and I'm going to change this for our products here, home products. There we go. And here it says about, let's say about us, let's say jokers. And I'm going to go to the home section and I can start to work with my actual section. So now that I have created a niche, now that I have created a website, now that I have a template, now that I have the, the three pages that I think I'm going to be using, let's focus in the product that you want to sell. So if you have your own product, it's going to be a little bit more easier to start to sell here into your website. If you want to make some dropshipping or print on demand, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but you can try to embed it and let's say to move to one place into another one. Let's focus into how we can do this in a manual way. So first of all, we do have the home section, right? Now, so what I want to do here is to start by customizing my own stuff. So for example, here I'm going to type Yoko's, the name of my brand. Let's go for the best services, the best I was going to delete this. Let's go for you asked. This is a, a really quick slogan. You ask, you get. All right. So after that, I'm going to try to change the background because I think the background is not that accurate for my actual brand. So I'm going to go for change image, go into upload and upload a new image. If you don't have an image to upload as a background, you can choose select and try to go for searched and look out for an image that can be a little bit more accurate of what you're actually looking for. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that we can select here, but let's say I'm going to focus into, let's say this one and hit into select. There we go. So um, that's totally up to you. If you want to choose your own images, uh, you can do that. Even you can select here images directly from the search section of Google as well as live. So for example, let's say that I'm uh, starting to sell some Pokemon stuff, or let's say that I'm starting to sell some school bags. I'm good for school bags. And here as you can see, there's a lot of options that we can choose. So I want to look out for something that can be a little bit more accurate, great high quality. I'm going to leave it like that. And there we go. You can select this option if you wanted to. I'm going to just move this and the anchor image. I'm going to move this, let's say, a little bit more down like that. And boom, my actual website is looking really great in the home section. So I'm going to just select this part, which I think is not that useful for me. I'm going to delete this. There we go. And then what I wanted to do is to look out here for a full service experience. Let's say, for example, I'm going to delete this and and put something like we have what you need. So as you can see, what I'm doing here is trying just to fill up all my information as I can. So I'm going to leave this like that. I'm not going to be focusing a lot in here. So let's go into the second part of the pages, which is the actual product. Now here into the product, I'm going to delete services. Let's go for our backs. 
and here into change image, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Uh, I'm going to go for search, I'm going to go for back to school, for example. Uh, this is just totally customizable, that's totally up to you. And the thing I want to do now is to focus now into my actual uh, products. So it says services. So I'm just going to pretend that this is our actual product, but this is just an, as an example, guys. So you can see how it's going to be looking at the end of this video. So I'm going to try to copy this image. All right, so I'm going to type this actual image and I'm going to move this into the first one. So this is like the most accurate one. I'm going to leave it like that. There we go. And this is going to be the latest one. I'm going to hit into insert and this is my image. Now what I want to do is to move this in here. Let's say, for example, here. Uh, as you can see, here's our backst, and uh, this is the gallery of my image. So what I want to do is to make this a little bit more smaller, or try to make this a little bit more smaller if I can. If you can't do that, you can leave it like that. You can go for... All right, so uh, as you can see, it's taking now great looking here. So what I want to do now is to just start to drag and drop um, some, let's say, for example, some text box. I'm going to just drag and drop here and move that down here so i want to start to make uh, the actual description of my product this is the description of my product and lastly guys if i want to sell this product of course i want to enable the payment option inside the google sites so what i want to do is to choose a third party that can be helping me to receive that amount of money since google sites does not allow this by itself. In my case, I'm going to be using something called Striped. Now, Striped is a great uh, place to receive payments for that. So you can use PayPal if you want to. You can use another third party that you want to. In my case, I'm going to be focusing now into Striped. So I'm just going to sign in. And once I am signed in, what I want to do, if you are new here into Stripe, I'm going to be showing you what do I do in order to receive money from a specific product. So once I do have an account, what I want to do is to focus into products. And here into products, I want to create a new product. I'm going to go for add product. And here I want to import the name of my product. Let's say, for example, that this is a school bag. Uh, item number one, and here with the description, you want to import the description and you want to import the actual image, which is actually this one. And I can see the price that I can add here, compare with my passcode, like this is just really, really simple. I want to import one time, I can save my product and I'm going to type for create a payment linked. So this one is, this is how it's going to be looking my payment linked. So what I want to do is to collect customer's address. I want to require customers to provide a phone number and I'm going to just leave it like that. It's actually looking really, really great. So we go for create linked and just like that, my link is going to be now created. So I'm going to go for copy. I'm going to go back here into Google sites and here what I want to do is to import a new button. So let's go for the actual button, which is actually here. And here into the name, we're going to type by now, and I'm going to paste the custom link that was generated by Striped. So move this in here, and there we go. We're actually good to go. So what I want to do lastly is just to hit into published on our box here, and this is the description, this is my product, and these are the images that I have just added automatically. So as you can see, it's actually looking really great. Lastly, go into buy now. And this one is going to be sending me into the checkout section of my product. And voila, this is how we can do this totally for free using the Striped and Google Sites. With that being said, guys, hopefully it was amazing and useful video for you. So have lots of fun. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, of course. And well, I'll see you next time. Good luck.